Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today we will look at collision avoidance including autonomous emergency braking. Land Rover's instrument panel menu has driver assistance. First, there are collision avoidance features. Forward alert can be disabled or enabled. Activated in the sensitivity settings below can be selected from normal, medium, and high. The forward alert function monitors the area in front of the vehicle. The vehicle alerts the driver when an object is detected within the detection area according to the sensitivity setting. When the speed of my vehicle is between 30 km and 80 km, it alerts with a red warning light only when there is a sudden change such as a lane change. The screen you are seeing was using adaptive cruise control, so the forward alert worked at a rather slow speed. Next is AEB. AEB is Autonomous Emergency Braking. The screen you see is when Autonomous Emergency Braking is activated. It will automatically stop if you do not step on the brake pedal until a collision with a vehicle ahead is expected. It automatically stops when there is a pedestrian crossing in front of the vehicle. Level 2 Autonomous Emergency Braking is applied to most 2020 vehicles. In Level 2, unlike Level 1 on the screen you see, it prevents collisions for pedestrians up to 60 km and vehicles up to 80 km. So let's do a test at New Discovery Sport with Level 2. For both Level 1 and Level 2, the speed at which Autonomous Emergency Braking starts is more than 5 km. I tested it in various ways but I failed. As a result of checking, it seems that the camera of the vehicle works only when it detects the appearance of the vehicle, not just an object. As in the video you saw earlier, in the near future, we will prepare a cushion that looks like a vehicle and try again. Also, please note that it detects pedestrians over 1 meter tall crossing in front of the vehicle. Many people are wondering if autonomous emergency braking is applied to vehicles before 2020. You cannot check from the instrument panel, so be sure to check if the camera is inside two trapezoidal sensors on the windshield of the vehicle. The vehicle you saw in the previous video is 2017 Discovery. It is necessary to check because options may vary slightly in the process of importing by country. Next up is Blind Spot Assist. In the settings, Steering Assist, Alert Only, and Off can be selected. The Blind Spot Assist is similar to the Lane Keeping Assist, except for the orange warning light on the instrument panel. The Steering Assist can be used at speeds of over 70 km. If the vehicle recognizes that you want to change lanes even though the vehicle is in a blind spot, the steering wheel automatically moves with the side mirrors and warning lights on the instrument panel. The following is a cross-traffic monitor. It is divided into forward and reverse according to the vehicle in class. In the case of forward when the parking assist function is activated and the vehicle is stopped or moving at low speed in D mode, a warning light and a warning sound alert you when an object approaches the left or right side of the front of the vehicle. It also alerts pedestrians of slow speed. This feature is useful in parking lots with perpendicular parking. Same goes for reverse. When moving the vehicle in reverse, it warns if an object approaches from the left or right. Finally, it is an emergency braking signal system not found in the instrument panel. The emergency braking signal system is a function that automatically turns on the emergency lights so that the following vehicle does not collide with my vehicle when the driver suddenly brakes due to an urgent road condition that may be in operation. We tested what the emergency braking signal system looks like when it works. I tried emergency braking at a speed of about 60 kilometers. As you can see, the emergency light turns on automatically. I expected and waited for the emergency light to turn off automatically, but I waited more than 20 times and it did not go out, so I turned it off. Then, let's see what it looks like outside the vehicle this time. This is a video of a camera installed outside the vehicle at the same time as when I just braked the vehicle. 
from the start of the emergency braking, you can see the emergency light blinking rapidly. After the vehicle has stopped completely, the emergency light will flash at normal speed. Let's see again. During emergency braking, the emergency light flashes quickly, and when the vehicle is completely stopped it changes to normal speed. Inside the vehicle, you can see the emergency lights turn on after stopping completely. Depending on the vehicle and class, the direction indicator in the exterior lighting settings can be set to animated. In the case of the new Discovery Sport you just saw, it was set as animated. Please note, however, that while the emergency braking signal system is operating, it will light up as a normal emergency light regardless of the animated settings. So far, we have learned about the various collision avoidance features of Land Rover. In the next video, let's take a look at new Discovery Sports as the first land test drive for those who are having a hard time going out due to the recent Corona 1-9. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.